can't hear four seconds out Eddie Hearn looking flash, but it's a flash announcement that's rocked the boxing world. Eddie didn't think we might have too much to talk about. We do now uh, with the former Fury Usyk Fury falling out of the contest because of a cut. Just your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, got the news this morning here in Las Vegas and couldn't believe it. Obviously, selfishly from our side, we've got Jai Apatia and Joe Caldina on the card, which, you know, disappointed for them, but also for boxing. And, you know, our partners in Saudi Arabia, His Excellency, etc. And it was a massive fight for Riyadh season. And hopefully they can get it rescheduled as soon as possible. Seen the cuts, not a good cut at all. But, you know, hopefully it won't keep him out for too long and, you know, can, can get a new date in the diary. Does the event still go ahead to your knowledge? I don't know. It's, you know, it wasn't my main event. Um, I, I think time is needed and people say we haven't got time i've been in this situation so many times where the first reaction is this and i do this and get this fight and you know call joshua or call i, I don't know like but it's sometimes better just to say just give it a few hours go to a room have a little cry realize and think to yourself why on earth do i work in boxing and then say right let's let's make a plan and knowing his excellency he will want to make a plan and probably double down on, on other fights and other announcements and you know try and get over the disappointment that inevitably comes in boxing. And unfortunately, it's come in one of the biggest fights of, of our generation. There is a feeling from some that with the rumours, whispers that have fallen out of the camp, Johnny Nelson's account of you know him being manhandled and such, that maybe this was you know, manufactured or isn't as legit as maybe it seems to. Now, I don't have that opinion it, myself, I, but that's the opinion I, of some. Yeah, I have no reason to defend Tyson Fury, but I will defend yeah. him of course, in a ridiculous situation because what you're ultimately implying, not you, but other people, is that Tyson Fury has asked someone to cut him open with a knife on his eye to avoid a fight, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, Tyson Fury spars with an open head guard, but he's done it all his career and many, many rounds. It looks like a complete freak injury. You're not going to get Tyson Fury flying out to Riyadh, spending nine, ten weeks of wasting his time and life he's got a huge payday in front of him he's got a fight he believes he can win and what you know i mean sometimes i think people watch too much netflix that he's gone right listen things aren't going very well so if i say it's a hand injury no one will believe me so what we're going to do is get a knife or a scalpel right just let me sit back here go and cut my eye wide open really badly in in a spot that may affect my scar tissue and future fights that I'm in and we'll just tell everyone it happened in sparring and we'll look like, come on, like, it's ridiculous. So, and also, you know, I heard Johnny, Johnny Nelson's new comments about this and that. He's got three people in the camp that he knows who have told him this and that. Sparring, sparring, like the guy's been around for ages and ages and I'm sure he was well prepared for the biggest moment of his career. I, I would imagine Tyson Fury's absolutely gutted I know you're not involved in a Fury camp, but you are involved in the AJ camps. Is it routine to have these sort of hard spars so close to... Absolutely. I know it's still two weeks out, but... Absolutely. You know, th this is the moment where you really have the hard spars. You know, two weeks out, you you're going to stop sparring. People stop sparring anywhere between 10 days and five days before. You know, I know I know trainers who have fight a spar on Monday and Tuesday of fight week. I don't like it. But you will always have those tough 12 round spars at this stage. He probably had two or three days of sparring left. But you have to have hard spars. Like, you know, this, this is a freak incident. You can't sort of suddenly turn around and say, oh, you shouldn't have had a hard spar. You're fighting for the Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship. And they're big lumps. And if someone slips and a headbutt goes in or an uh, elbow goes in, injuries can happen. Under Tyson Fury's extra sentences, uh, sorry, um additional to the statement uh, on his Instagram, Alexander Krasuk said, you know, hope you rest up, but this is a sign up from God that maybe retirement is on your door. Do you think Fury might consider retirement with the wear and tear that going into the undisputed fight? It doesn't seem likely, but Krasuk seems to be on the table. He's not my fighter. I can't speak on his behalf, but I don't think so. You know, I think he'll, he'll want to fight and he'll want to prove people wrong, but there probably is wear and tear. You know, everybody gets wear and tear as, as you get older in a career. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that the fight gets rescheduled as soon as possible. Do you know if Hergovic is stepping in? It seems unlikely with how close it is. Yeah, again, I think at, in these moments, my advice and George and Spencer and, you know, they, they know what they're doing. Just take 24 hours, 
find out realistically when Tyson Fury will be ready. I can't see Usyk taking another fight when the fight could take place in April or early May. But just at the moment, take a breath and come up with a plan. And hopefully, you know, it's an important fight for boxing. We want to see it on. I know it doesn't really matter, but was it an elbow? Did you see it as an elbow? Saw it as an uppercut, to be honest with you. But someone said it was an elbow and you can watch it in slow motion. But, you know, uh, it's there for everybody to see. But in my opinion, uh, listen, I've had, <laughs> I'm in group chats with my friends outside of boxing, which I don't have many, but... And it's all in there. Oh, this sounds dodgy to me. I'm like, guys, like, no. So, two messages from my friends. Is that legit? It's like, yes. Like, one, two. You know. I mean, I remember when Microphone it's actually Philip Hergovich right. who cut David Hay. Check Do you remember? Two, Inspiring. Same right. thing. I think Hay was this fighting Fury. Just right? Oh, Check I reckon he's two. cut himself open. He's fine. I mean, you'd have to be some piece of work mm. to request to have your eye cut open to get out of a fight. Mm. Not believable in the slightest to me what's the domino effect for aj it means that this gets postponed further so if, if aj gets through in garnu and then they have the two fights for furiosic the rematch and the, yeah, the first one's fight have you have to have another fight in between they may only have one fight you know aj could fight hergovic in between for the IBA. i mean there's so much that can happen we're just focused on Ngannou. it's four weeks today to to our fight got to stay healthy make sure we make it in the ring and, and that's just the pure focus at the moment just want to end on a bit of a somber note to deaths that have also taken place in the boxing world. First of all, Carl Weathers, who portrayed a fighter in Rocky, and then also Anna Gucci, who fought recently as well. Just a word on those two. Yeah, Carl Weathers was... A Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed, yeah. I mean, um, I saw the terrible news about the Japanese fighter as well. Um, you know, firstly, let's focus on that one, which is just a terrible incident when anything like that happens in our sport. It happens... You know, unfortunate incidences and, and loss of life do happen in all sport. But we also understand that our sport is particularly dangerous. We have to keep evolving, keep making sure that the, the sport is as safe as possible for its participants. Unfortunately, sometimes injuries happen and, and you know, our, our thoughts are with the, the family and may he rest in peace. Carl Weathers, you know, who doesn't know Apollo Creed? So, um, yeah, uh, thoughts with, with everybody involved. Eddie, appreciate a good conversation. Thanks for your seconds out. Go on. Thank you.